Yuchislav Chornovil Ukrainian, Vasislav Maksimovich Kornovil December 24, 1937 in Yurki, Katerinopol Rayon, Kiev Oblast, March 25, 1999, near Borispol, Kiev Oblast was a Ukrainian politician. A prominent Ukrainian dissident in the Soviet Union, he was arrested multiple times in the 1960s and 1970s for his political views. A longtime advocate of Ukrainian independence, he was one of the most prominent political figures of the late 1980s and early 1990s who paved the path of the contemporary Ukraine to its independence. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. Chornovil enrolled into the University of Kiev initially at the College of Philology faculty, but after the first semester transferred to the College of Journalism. In 1958 due to conflict in the university he took a break from studying and went for construction project in Zhdanov of a blast furnace and later worked for the Kiev Komsomolays. Chornovil was a member of the Komsomol of Ukraine. He graduated in 1960 with honors and defended his diploma with a thesis, Publicistic work of Boris Rinchenko. Topic. Political career Topic. Soviet Union Chornovil worked for various newspapers and in television in Lviv and Kiev between 1960 to 64. In 1964 he moved to Vyshhorod and participated in the construction of the Kiev Hees see Kiev Reservoir. During the same year Chornovil also enrolled into the Aspirantora see Candidate of Sciences of the Kiev Pedagogical Institute, but was not allowed to study. On September 4, 1965 together with Ivan Dezuba and Vasil Stus, Chornovil conducted protest in the movie theater, Akraina, at the premiere of the film, Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. After that he was fired out of his job, searched by authorities. For refusing to stand witness and testify at the trials of the Horan brothers, Chornovil was given three months of forced labor. He became known as a dissident after documenting the illegal imprisonment of some Ukrainian intellectuals. Later, he covered a similar story about 20 Ukrainians. Woe from wit. He was charged with slander and sentenced to three years in the prison of maximum security, but was released in half the time under a general amnesty in 1967 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the October Revolution. The Times awarded him the Tomalin Prize for the documentation of the trials. During his exile in 1969 Chornovil married to Atena Pashko. In 1970 he managed to find a job at the meteorological station in Zakarpatia, provided a manual labor for an archaeological expedition to the Odessa region, and at the railroad station, Skaniliv, in Lviv. At the same time Chornovil created an underground magazine, Ukrainian Informer. Since 1971 he worked in the Lviv department of the Ukraine Nature Conservation Society. He was imprisoned another time for being involved in Ukrainian independence movements and affiliated publications in 1972. This time Chornovil was given six years of imprisonment and three more years of exile. His term he spent in Mordva camps for political prisoners in the villages of Ozernoy and Bereshevo. Half of his term Chornovil spent in a penalized isolation cell and a room of cell type PKT. Chornovil renounced his Soviet citizenship and decided to move to Canada in 1975, but was not permitted to do so. He joined the Ukrainian Helsinki Group, which helped to monitor and enforce the 1975 Helsinki Accords. In 1978 by train Chornovil was exiled to the village of Chapandu Yakusha, where he worked as a laborer at a local state farm Sovikos, later as a supplier in Nyurba. In 1978 he was admitted to the International Pen Society. He was arrested yet again for attempted rape in April 1980 and was sentenced to five years in prison, after which he carried out a 120-day long hunger strike. He was released in 1983 following the protest of the prosecutor of Yakusha not to allow return to Ukraine. In May 1985 Chornovil found job as a stoker at the Lviv Miskrembud Trust, City Maintenance Construction Trust and at a specialized school. In the late 1980s he actively participated in the Ukrainian national movement becoming the first leader of the People's Movement of Ukraine better known as Ruk. In 1988 there was a first attempt to create the ''Democratic Front in Support of Perestroika'' 
in Lviv only to be dispersed by the Soviet Oman Canine Unit. Later he promoted several nationally oriented actions, one of them was the Human Chain that took place on January 21, 1990 and commemorated the Act of Unification of the Ukrainian Lands in 1919 see Act <laughs> After Ukrainian independence Chornovil ran for president of Ukraine in 1991 but was defeated, winning only in western Ukraine. He was one of the most important members of the People's Movement of Ukraine. He was elected to the Verkhovna Rada for the People's Movement of Ukraine in 1994 and 1998 and was the head of that party. In 1999 his party was almost dissolved due to disagreements within. There are speculations that the failure to liquidate the party led to the road accident that took Chornovil's life. That fact is mentioned in the documentary movie of Volodymyr Onyshenko he who awoke the stone state. Topic. Death and remembrance Chornovil was expected to become the main opposition candidate against the incumbent president Leonid Kuchma for the 1999 presidential election, but Chornovil's presidential campaign was interrupted in its early stages by his suspicious death in an automobile crash on March 25, 1999. His assistant Yevon Pavlov was also killed in the crash. The official investigation carried by the Ministry of Internal Affairs concluded that the crash was purely accidental and discovered no evidence of the foul play. However, some of Chornovil's supporters called his death a political murder and called on bringing those responsible for it to justice. The theory of murder is stated on the website dedicated to Vyacheslav Chornovil and created by his son Taras Chornovil, a deputy of Verkhovna Rada formerly from the Party of Regions in 2003. The National Bank of Ukraine issued a commemorative coin with the nominal of two hryvnias dedicated to Chornovil. On August 23, 2006, President Viktor Yushchenko unveiled a monument to Chornovil and ordered a new investigation into his death. On September 6, 2006, Yuri Lutsenko, the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, announced that based on the information he saw, he personally believes that Chornovil was a victim of murder rather than a car accident. Lutsenko stated further that the investigation is now carried by the Office of the Prosecutor General of Ukraine and the Security Service of Ukraine, the law enforcement authorities not under Lutsenko's control. He went further, alluding that, certain circles in the prosecutor's office and security service are stonewalling the investigation. However, on August 9, Alexander Medvedko, the prosecutor general of Ukraine, commented at the news conference that Lutsenko's statement is unprofessional. As his conclusions are based on unreliable information, on March 25, 2009 a funeral service was held near the memorial sign in Borispol, and admirers including the mayor of Kiev then Leonid Chernovetsky laid flowers on his monument in Kiev to mark the 10-year anniversary of Chornovil's death. In 2009, a Ukrainian stamp devoted to Chornovil was issued. Topic. Family Father, Maxim Yosipovich Chornovil (1909–1987), a teacher of Ukrainian language and literature. Mother, Kylina Karatonivna Tereshenko (1909–1985), a teacher in elementary school. Sister, Valentina Maximovna Kronovil (1948–present). First wife, Irina Mykolaevna Brunets. Son, Andriy Chornovil (1962–present), a doctor and professor of the Lviv Medical University. Second wife, Olena Timofeyevna Antoniv (1937–1986), a dissident, perished in an auto accident. Son, Taras Chornovil (1964–present), a member of Parliament of Ukraine (2000–2012). Third wife, Atena Vasilivna Pashko (1931–2012), a Ukrainian poet. Stepdaughter, Irina Vasilivna Volitska Zubko, a theatrical director at the Teatr v Korzeny Theater in a Basket. Topic. References and footnotes. Topic. External links. Vyacheslav Chornovil biography. People's Movement of Ukraine Ruk website in Ukrainian. Archived from the original on 7 September 2006. Ukrainian Weekly Newspaper Biography 
Vyacheslav Chornovil's death Pictures of the monument Obituary, The Times. He who awake the stone state. DVD in the library of the Kiev Mohyla Academy.